every preacher really only has one sermon that they preach. They just use different words, stories, and analogies to give that same sermon. When Jesus called me to serve him, he also gave me one message to preach. And it all can be summed up in one single word. And that word is repentance. Unless you actually choose to repent and love God with all your heart, you will not be saved. Many people have believed in the Bible. They have believed in Jesus and they have believed a lie. And that lie is that you don't need to really repent. You don't need to turn from evil in order to be pleasing to God. They have believed that God will love them no matter what. They don't have to change anything. The thing is, Jesus does love unconditionally. He loves us no matter what. But the problem is, most people do not love him back. And because they love their sin more than God, they do not repent. And they will be cast into hell because of sin. Not because God does not love, but they will be cast into hell because they chose to do what is wrong, not what is right. Unless you actually do the hard work to repent and to purify yourself, then you will not be saved. Because Jesus Christ has made the way for you. He has shown the way for you to be pure and holy. He's died on the cross and he is resurrected from the dead. And his blood will purify you if you choose to repent. But he has not done everything for you because he will not make up your mind to live righteously. You have to choose to make up your mind. You have the choice to follow after God with everything you are or to live life for yourself. He will not force you. And Jesus will not do that for you. It has to be your conscious decision to turn from evil and practice what is right. You are saved by grace through Jesus, but you're not saved by grace if you have not repented. First, you have to repent and come into the grace of Jesus. Have you really repented to obey the Lord? Or are you still practicing sin? Are you still sinning? May the grace of Jesus be with you.